easy way to get there. Certified financial advisor Joe Burt joins us now with more. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, so Tom. first, let's talk about millennials. Define millennials. Millennials, that generation born generally between 1984 to 2004, about a 20-year okay. time span. So that's okay. what we're talking about. The all young, right. the youngins, if you will. Right, right. So, all right. What's the easiest way for them to become millionaires? The easiest way, Tom, is to put money into your IRA or your 401k plan. We've said this time and time again, and the reason being is because it's forced savings. It's coming out of your paycheck. You don't see it happening, so you're not spending it, and that's the best way. And for interesting statistic just came out. 20% of the millennials today are putting 15% or more of their paycheck in their 401k. Which, that's changed a good deal in yes. the last 20 or 30 years, yeah, right? It's changed a whole lot because the millennials have seen what their grandparents or great-grandparents have gone through in when we had the recession and they're scared about it which is good news because it got their attention All right so is yeah. is there a magic age at which you need to be started right now right now right now if you haven't started <laughs> and that goes for anybody if, exactly. by the way if you haven't started start right now because every day that you lose every week that you lose every month that you lose every year that you lose makes it all the more difficult you got to discipline yourself but if you are in that right. millennial age bracket right. and you do start now right. it really is easy if you just let it, it rise easy. right if you just do some math 7500 bucks a week in your 401k plan pretty much assures that if you don't do stupid things by 865 you'll have a million bucks all right so what about people who are already past that age? Then you have to put away more. You got to put put aside more if you want to get if you want to. Because remember, when you retire, what are you going to live on? What are you going to? You're going to have Social Security plus whatever else well, you're able to save. No, you, you may have, have Social Security. Well, the, I'll tell you, the millennials will yeah. have to wait longer and right. probably get less than you and me. You know, okay. I'm at the sweet age. I'm a baby boomer. But, so, so you're not, not among gonna, the group that's I'm saying not among Social Security is going away. Not, no, it's not going to go away, but it's going to change. And I can guarantee you the retirement age will be pushed out, and you may have to get less. But if you don't save for your retirement, we've said this time and time again, the only thing you're going to have is Social Security. And Social Security is a safety net. It's not a retirement plan. Yeah, it's not enough to live on. But really. let's summarize here. The real key is, is to use your 401k, use your IRA right. to max, at least get your employer match as a minimum, and strive to put about 15% of your paycheck in your 401k. All right, good That's advice as always, right, Joe. Good Thanks. To see you. You're welcome. 826, almost 827, still to come.